All right, this is Tommy Contenta. He is the guy, Gino's top assistant, been here for a long time, but I know this man from his days of my alma mater, uh, 2002, they won the MAC. Uh, we're going to talk some high school sports. Uh, even though they got thumped by Elwood City, had a good first half, our alma mater, John McCougar is kind of seeing some light at the end of the tunnel, huh, Coach? Absolutely. I stopped over, saw Johnny, saw the coaches. I love the fact that they're all new Brighton guys. They are, man. Every single person that's coaching on the staff, they're new Brighton guys. They're, uh, you know, guys that grew up in the town. They've been through the hard times. They've been through the good times. There's a lot of tradition there. They're teaching those guys. They're bringing them up right. Guys were working hard all summer. That's, that's how you lay the foundation. Listen, I'm not just saying this because you're from New Brighton, but it doesn't hurt. I just, I love everything about you. I mean, I, I look at you as the heir apparent. I think you're going to be here for a long time. And I go back to some of my first interviews with Gene Sullivan, did that show forever. Uh, Gino and I, radio and TV and you, I, I've been wanting to do this for the longest time. So I'm going to try to do it a couple more times before the season is over. How in the world did you ever end up here? I don't know the, the backstory. What's the backstory of Tommy Contenta and Geneva? Yeah, Collins? I mean, it's it's interesting. You know, you have some scholarship offers. You go out and you look at places. And at the time, Geneva could offer a scholarship uh, for football. But I am a Beaver County local guy. Even even Gino gets on me. Coach DeMarco gets on me because – Go recruit somewhere else. Well, just go. Like, you know what I mean? Early on. And uh, I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to – Work with guys in the area, kids, you know what I mean? At first, I started education, and then I realized, man, I want to get in this coaching thing. And, uh, you know, mentoring young guys, you know, the football aspect, I mean, I am a competitor. If we play tiddlywinks, I want to win. If it's racquetball, dodgeball, you know, football is the ultimate team sport, and you can build guys' character, impact their life, um, and get opportunity to do that every day. You know, I, uh, I am the Lions' number one fan. Yes. And whoever the coach has been, I'm like, can I get a quarterback like over six foot who can throw the football? <laughs> now I can go back to some really good quarterbacks like Mr. Radatovich, Paul Radatovich, but you were that guy. You were a good football player, at times a great football player. You understand that, don't you? You really were a good football player. I, I appreciate that. At the, at the time, you just want to compete and be the best you can be for your teammates. Talk about that time at New Brighton. Oh, man, listen. You Some get the, the goosebumps players. just talking about it. I talk about, you know, and if, if I miss someone's name, I'll feel bad. You know, Jeff Childs, um, you know, Matt Circle, got guys who were in my wedding, you know, Weston Lambert. I mean, Tony Kordecki, you know, both the Kordecki brothers. I mean, Weston was a great football great player. Great football player. Clarence Grant, Brian Hensley, Mark Wilson. I mean, the list goes on and on. Chris Kasparic. I mean, these guys at that time is before social media. And you ran with your crew, those juniors and seniors. And we had a good group, group of sophomores, uh, Pat Glitch, Mikey Davis. I mean, you had – I mean, there was just tons of guys. And it was New Brighton guys. And you hung out with your guys. And, I mean, I remember a lot of us didn't even play basketball to our senior year because we wanted to lift together. We wanted to be, you know you, – you couldn't get us out of the weight. We were in the weight room all the time. We were, we were in football mode all the time. We ran track, and then football practice broke out. You know what I mean? And uh, – <laughs> That's what it takes to be good at times. And uh, I think that we enjoyed the aspect of just being with each other. And uh, that's what we were about. High school coach, football coach, talk about it. Yeah, uh, Joe Greco. I mean, I had great coaches. I tell these guys, I'm close with Fab, Fab still. Uh, coach Mittner just saw him. His son's playing at Teal. I mean, I was. we were very fortunate. Uh, Jason Hall was like a big brother mentor to me. I tried to get them here to coach quarterbacks many times. Um, too. They could play. They can coach. Joe Greco is still in my life as a mentor. Um, these are guys that were just good guys. Ed Kasparik was like a second dad growing good up. Good man. Good I man. lived at his house on weekends. Uh, Chris was at our house. I, I mean, tell you, I drive by his house kind of nestled in that little back street. Unbelievable. And he's not there anymore. And it's, yeah. kind of, it's kind of sad. I yeah. think about him all the time. Yeah. You know, I'm heading somewhere. I go, man, I wish he was around. He was such a good good, good guy. guy. I still shoot him a text every once in a while just checking in on him. Um, but he's loving life. And, you know, I, I'm fortunate because the role that those guys played in my life, uh, one, it made me want to get into coaching. But we used to do a thing on Thursday nights up there when the moms would feed us on Thursday nights that one coach would just kind of come in and share their story, uh, right. what has impacted their life, what, you know, why they keep pursuing what they're pursuing. And, I mean, it was great stuff. It was unbelievable to hear. It made you look at your coaches different than just the guy that's on you to do everything right. So, listen, you could have gone anywhere now. I mean, you've been at this and you're respected enough that any of these schools could have plucked you as far as the high school level. 
You don't need to even be teaching in the classroom. Why stay at Geneva? I mean, Gino has a lot to do with that, but why? Yeah. Um, Geneva is the only place that will let me combine faith and football together the way, the way that I want to do it. I mean, you don't get a better mentor than anybody like Gino. No. Um, I had other great coaches that come through here between Mike Pinchotti, you know, Birdner, um, a bunch of just great guys. Leo Wisniewski, um, they, they pour into you and talk to you. But um, Geneva lets you build students the right way. Uh, football is very important. We want to win games. We're going to get after it. We're football coaches. But at the same time, the whole person concept of your faith, your academics, um, you know, you're not going to get more access to a coach than Gino for, for a head coach for one of these students. It's unbelievable. And that's the thing that I really love about Geneva. Plus, I'm, I'm told you, I'm a Beaver County guy. Me too. My wife's a South Fayette girl. She got stuck in the Geneva bubble, like, like the teaser about it, teaches in the area. And, uh, you know, our family's from here. It's a great fit for me. So let's talk about some things that I've been discussing with a lot of these high school coaches. And I've interviewed them all at every level. And you know, and I were talking about the five A's, the six A's. Look, they've got some oh, great absolutely. facilities. Yes. But places like our alma mater. Yeah. Places like Rochester, people yeah. can identify with. We're a couple of Beaver County guys. Man, I wish I had a checkbook no that doubt. I could give them a bag of cash or whatever. Because the facilities, and hopefully you guys will be able to step up over here as well. Maybe weight room, field house, whatever. Bottom line is, this place is Taj Mahal compared to a lot of the high schools. How do we fix that, Coach? I mean, yeah. what do we do? Because these kids need the same tools that the kids in 5A and 6A have. Yeah. How do you make that happen? I think, I think it's... I think booster clubs are doing the best. I see Johnny doing a great job oh, with the new Brighton Booster Club. Big time. Um, and I think the more proactive coaches are, there's only so much money to go around, but I think a lot of it has to come from the alumni. A lot of it has to come from uh, buying in from the administration. I think administration at any level, college, uh, high school, you know, that's where you're able to really build. And you can tell who cares about what program and what they put first based on where they invest, invest their money. And, uh, Hopefully good things are going to be coming for New Brighton. Uh, you see a lot of areas putting turf in or renewing turf. Um, I would say that uh, New Brighton does have a nice field house. I right. said that's the one perk um, of it. I've seen other people's obviously recruiting the area. You're in and out. I'm in and out of all the schools in Ohio, in and out of all the schools um, over here. Um, but it really just comes down to what's the vision for the school? And do they have a big enough vision to invest in the students? Because the football field, the track, the basketball court – that's a classroom of life also. It is. Um, and if you have an equal investment community-wise, then you'll see the schools that stand behind it, even the smaller schools that find it important. So this year, one of the first interviews I did with Johnny, the young man, Jerron King, filmed the video. Okay. And so I asked Coach, oh, he's a freshman, you know, and mm -hmm. he's a quarterback. Well, then all of a sudden, as fate has it, he's in the lineup. Absolutely. And look, they could have had a couple of better weeks recently, but he did what he had to yeah. do. So talk to me about this kid. I mean, I really think he's special. Yeah, I went over. I watched the I watched the Riverside game. Right. Um, I live in Beaver now. You know, made the I live in Brighton Township, and uh, told my son, "Hey, it's homecoming. Let's go back." Saw saw a few old guys like myself. You know, talked a little bit. But I watched this kid in and out. Um, he, I, I was really Boy. impressed that he didn't try to do too much. No, he did what the coaches kind of coached him up to do. He made some plays. Um, very impressive. He's definitely got a bright future. Keep your head level. I remember Joe Greek always telling me, don't talk about yourself. Talk about the offensive line. Talk about the – and it really just, you know, I think this kid's going to fall right in there. Um, and the plays, the big plays are going to happen. The praise is going to come. You know, just do what your coaches tell you to do. In closing, Tommy Contenta, he is Gino's top assistant here at Geneva. This football team, look, I know Gino, you know Gino, and I know you well enough. Nobody wants this. I mean, it's got to get better. Mm -hmm. And I know it's steady as she goes. And uh, you have to overcome a lot of situations at this level because you're taking on teams that have numbers, they have the facilities. And obviously with those two things, you get the athletes. What needs to be done to kind of get this thing heading in the right direction? Yeah, I think we made some steps as uh, administration. Last year, we implemented a promise scholarship for families that are under 70,000 where their kids can come tuition free. Uh, we got a lot more local kids than we normally have just nice. because a lot of guys kind of fit in that mold. Um, so we got a lot of Rochester kids last year. We got a couple of guys from Ambridge, um, guys from all over the county that really just kind of fit there. I think we're taking steps. I think the big thing is we're, if you look out there, we're playing a lot of young guys. Right. How do you retain the young guys? You keep the hope. I'll tell you one thing. The guys that play absolutely battle, and that's all you can ask for.
Yep. Um, as long as you retain them, you're going to be pretty good down the road, but you got to keep them here. The great thing about Geneva, if you're from Beaver County, you get a chance to step up and play here. Mom and dad and the grandparents don't have to go far to watch Not you play. And that's, that's pretty special. Not at all. I mean, if you go back, uh, Penn Ohio game, it was a real big deal whenever I played. Oh, man, I and, did the uh, first one. I know. You look at, uh, myself, Frank Hernandez, Zach Blair, um, Justin Shiro, Matt Brown. Uh, three of us were all conference quarterbacks, and we all ended up here. I played defense. Those two guys played offense. Uh, Jeff Childs, you know, Matt Circle. I mean, the list goes on and on. But there were probably 15 of us to 20 of us that played in that Penn Ohio game that all came to Geneva College. And it was like kind of eye opening, like, wow, we could be, we could be pretty good. Absolutely. You know? And uh, a lot of us stayed, and we finished 13th in the nation by the time we graduated. I'll leave you with this story. And he happens to be a former quarterback. Uh, a lot older than you, but he was one of my favorites, and he never gets enough credit. Terry Hanratty, okay, who played at Notre Dame. I had him on the air not too long ago, and I said to him, I said, so what was it like going from Butler, which really is a big school, school. to Notre Dame? He goes, let me tell you. He said, I go to Notre Dame. There were four all-state quarterbacks as freshmen. I mean, yeah. so you guys coming here, different level, obviously, but still that thing you get challenged, right? And you, yeah. you got to compete. But that's the good thing about sports. It could be your friend. It could be your neighbor. Equal talent, an opportunity to compete. And if you have an opportunity to compete, anything's possible. Absolutely. Listen, thanks so much. Appreciate it. I really appreciate what you're doing and uh, keep up the good work. Now, being that I'm my own director, I've got to step out of uh, the picture because I'm not editing. I got a busy day. I hear. I'm, I'm going to hit the little stop button. So you take a good look at the coach. Here he is, Tom <laughs> Contenta, New Brighton Zone, off to New Brighton now with your Pratt Pack.